Simon Kuznet related economic inequality to the growth and development of a nation. According to the curve, economic inequality increases steadily until it reaches a threshold or turning point and then begins to decrease as a nation becomes developed. The environmental Kuznet curve refers to the increasing degradation and use of some environmental resources and pollutants as a nation's wealth increases up to a certain point. Upon reaching that turning point, the nation will begin to focus on environmental issues and investments in addition to economic resources. Some argue that the developed nations just divert their waste streams to less developed countries. Relating the 1955 Kuznets curve to the environment has shown that as a country becomes more developed, the impact on the environment can decrease. The most effective ways to protect the environment is to either have regulations or laws through government or by valuing the resources. Throughout history, there have been numerous examples that demonstrate this. A clear example was the Native Americans that valued the land and its resources. They respected everything and wasted very little. Mother Earth has provided us with a deer. We're sorry we had to kill this deer, but it is essential to our people. Yes, we can use the meat for food, the fur for clothing, and the bones for tools. Upon the arrival of the Europeans, capital gains became emphasized and perpetuated environmental degradation. This was the beginning of the Kuznet Curve, or the part in which environmental degradation was beginning to worsen. As industry and capital gains began to increase, people sought to gain even more, with little concern for the environmental impacts. The structure of the United States government allowed for an organized way to develop the nation. In order to expand, new technologies were needed. With these technological developments, there's an increase in demand for raw goods. For example, before the Industrial Revolution, the cotton industry was small because it requires a lot of effort, but the use of new machines such as the cotton gin greatly increased efficiency. According to the Kuznets curve, the development of a country goes hand in hand with the degradation of the environment. All the extraction, processing, manufacturing, and distributing of resources has an impact on the environment. During this time in history, America was approaching the threshold of the environmental Kuznets curve. Production was still in full swing, but people were slowly beginning to see the effects humans have on their resources. After another 100 years or so of development, one of the worst environmental disasters took place in the United States. The 1930s Dust Bowl showed how the misuse of the land led to the depletion of its resources and its ability to sustain their agricultural practices. This disaster led to huge economic and agricultural losses. Although people were aware of the threats of environmental disasters, very little was done about protecting the environment until the 1970s. The government finally stepped in to aid in the fight against the destruction of the environment. In 1970, the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency was created. Since that time, there have been many resources devoted to environmental issues. There are strict regulations put in place in order to slow the destruction of the environment, which shows the United States could be moving around the turning point on the environmental Kuznets curve. The increase in average income and quality of life over the past 50 years may suggest the priority of the general public has shifted to a generally more environmentally focused way of life. So what does all this mean? Why should you care? If the environmental Kuznets curve is accurate, this could potentially save great quantities of resources. It also could greatly support the faith in technology argument that as long as we continue to strive for economic and technological advances, we also preserve the environment. This could improve the quality of life for everyone, including future generations. But what if the environmental Kuznets curve turns out not to be accurate? Although the United States should be continuing to get past the threshold point, there are still new pollutants being produced every day, and they may be diverting waste to lesser developed countries without actually decreasing their net amount. Either way, we must continue to vote time and resources to do the betterment of the environment. Hello. Hello. I'm from the EPA. I was wondering if you'd like to donate to our general fund. I'd love to. I've realized in my old age that the environment needs to be saved. I'm also wealthy enough to be able to sacrifice some of my wealth in order to do my part for the environment. Thank you. Have a splendid day. Certainly.